Tonight, a shocking series of discoveries during a double murder investigation in Tampa Palms. The FBI claims in a criminal report that they have found explosives, bomb-making materials, and radioactive elements. And they believe all of that could be tied to a neo-Nazi group. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson has more from Tampa Palms tonight. When Tampa police arrived at this smoke shop on Friday, Devin Arthurs was holding an employee and two customers at gunpoint. It was very clear that he wasn't letting anybody leave and that he was not going to drop the weapon. Officers talked Arthurs into letting the hostages go and dropping his weapon. Arthurs then admitted he killed his two roommates, 22-year-old Jeremy Himmelman and 18-year-old Andrew Wanschuk, who he described as neo-Nazis. Arthurs claims he had recently converted to become a Muslim. He said that they were all, they all shared some sort of a neo-Nazi worldview or belief um, until he converted to Islam. He said that he converted to Islam and that they did not respect his religious views. At the crime scene, police found the bodies of the two victims plus high explosives, bomb making material, and two sources of radioactive elements in the apartment. On Sunday in Key Largo, police arrested a third man, Devin Arthur's roommate, Brandon Russell, in connection with the bomb making materials. An FBI document shows Russell had been participating in neo Nazi chat rooms and has threatened to kill people. In his room, in addition to the explosives, guns, and ammo, FBI agents found a framed poster of Oklahoma City bomber Timothy McVeigh. Yeah, the Tampa Police Department is now handling the murder part of this investigation. The FBI is looking into how these young men were able to obtain these bomb-making materials and the radioactive materials and how this all fits together and if they are, in fact, neo-Nazis. Keith? Well, Jeff, do we know how far along they were when it comes to making a bomb? Uh, according to the FBI uh, information that they submitted to the U.S. courts, uh, they had a lot of active ingredients in terms of high explosives, but we don't know how far they uh, were along in putting all of this together and what their intended use might have been, Keith. All right, Jeff Patterson reporting live from Tampa Palms tonight. Thank you.